Welcome to the 8th chapter of FPDF tutorial series. In this chapter, I'm about to demonstrate how to make a pie chart in FPDF. Pie chart consists of arc or circular shapes. In order to build a pie chart, we need to be able to draw arc or circle shape. Unfortunately, FPDF have no such feature. So we need to add a custom library which allow us to draw a circle. Here I've prepared a library called Sector. You can download it from my GitHub pages, link provided in description. Open PDF Sector PHP file then copy its content. Then create a new file with the same name in your directory, and paste the code there. Here I jumpstart the process by copying previous chart. Then delete its content, leaving aside the object constructor and the data. First, let's see how sector works. And don't forget to set fill color before drawing anything to the PDF. The sector method require 5 parameter. Abscissa and ordinate of the radius center, radius, start angle, and draw angle. Angle is determined by starting from upward vertical axis, and moving clockwise. Now let's draw the pie chart. In order to turn the data into a pie chart, we need to get the scale factor to determine how much data will be represented by each degree. So just divide the total summary of data with 360 which is number of angle degree in a full circle. And we need to store current angle to offset the slices so they won't overlap. Now let's draw the legend. We need to manually set each legend's position.
and make sure they don't overlap. Let's add some color to the legend so they'll be more informative. Now, let's remove the black border by setting the border color to match the objects so they'll be invisible. Finally, let's tidy up the code by combining both loop into a single loop. Get rid of any redundant codes. This concludes this chapter of tutorial. Please like this video if you find this tutorial helpful and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials update. If you have any question or need the source code, feel free to ask anything in the comments section. See you next time.